How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the VOD channel. Today we are watching a new show for the first time on the channel. We are watching Cheaters, which is why it says Cheetos on the whiteboard behind me. Um, I put a, a poll up on the community tab, which I started using on the channel here, uh, between Cheaters, um, America's Next Top Model, Botched, and A Thousand Ways to Die. And although everything got at least 20%, which means everybody wanted something, Cheaters was number one. So, I'm a man of my word, and here we are watching it the very next day. I hope this goes up the next day. Who knows? Um, thanks all for all the love, as always, on the last catfish video. You guys go crazy whenever I post a catfish video. I appreciate it. It has basically like 500 likes in a day, which is insane. So thank you to everybody that watched it. If you did, I'm talking to you. I appreciate you very, very, very much. Um, just enjoying the channel, enjoying everything. Hope everybody's doing okay. Hope you're healthy and happy and thriving and, uh, been reading all the comments. I appreciate them all. Um, just, uh, it's something that I, I do every day. It kind of is like my morning paper. I wake up and I read comments and I, uh, I smile and, uh, I get on my day. Speaking of getting on with it, let's watch this episode, shall we? Let's switch on over here. We have Cheaters, full episode, Derek J. Never really watched this show. I don't know what to expect. We're going to this one pretty blind, so hope you guys enjoy. Those of you that have been requesting it or voted, here you go. From Cheaters Surveillance Cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live. Okay. Documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. Screaming this program infidelity. is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false hearted. Okay, this all sounds real, you know. Of temperance and virtue. Also, I did read that the uh, how far is tattoo far? Apparently, those tattoos they say are real. I call BS, but that's what they say on the show like in the on the Wikipedia. Okay, here's the intro. Here, did not expect to hear guitar in the intro. Looks like a GTA map. This is something that I've got to know. They're together right now. I love the intro showing these like infrared cameras like they're going out into these streets with like four hundred thousand dollar US Army equipment like with like heats. It's like they're just using cell phone. I mean like video cameras. Damn, damn, someone just fall off the boat? I imagine getting caught cheating and then you end up falling off a boat in the ocean. I mean what a way to go down that that's embarrassing. Television oh, I see. See heaters. Cheaters. There we go. Hello, I'm Joey Greco. There's Joey Thank Greco. This episode I remember this guy. I know. Yeah, I've seen Allow this guy. Allow me to introduce Derek Jameson, a man distressed over right, his Derek. girlfriend's recent change in attitude. Searching for an explanation, Derek approaches cheaters for assistance. Okay. Derek Jameson, age 33. A salesman worried that his girlfriend may no longer take their relationship seriously. I love how dated this is. I feel like this is... She's my sunshine. Like, d d d editing back in the day was crazy on this, you know? And, you know, I, um, you know, I wake up every morning, you know, and turn over and look at her. I know the sun is shining outside. Oh, if boy. It's, not, it's shining indoors. It's always shining on me. And, it's probably you know, it's cloudy just, lately, that, then. That, that, that keeps me... That keeps me going all day, man. She's my energy. Damn. You know, she's my earth. He's a really nice you guy. Know, we haven't been having just any major problems. I mean, we have regular relationship problems. You know, we go through those. But she's just been kind of like tending to shy away from me. Oh, well, one day she, um, I dropped off at work. Um, <clears throat> she told me she had to work, you know, pretty late shift. And I mean, hey, I'll tell you what, this guy could like narrate, narrate, narrate like some audio books you know a very soothing voice or it could be a, maybe an r&b singer you know a little brian mcknight a little luther vandross a little anita would definitely set this party off right that she told me she was going to get someone to drop her off at home uh oh well um turned out you know it was real late you know i woke up in the middle of the night she still hadn't got home and by the time she she did come home. She wasn't in her uniform. Uh-oh. That's never a good sign. 
And I mean, she was just smelling, just reeking of this perfume that was just, you know, something that I knew that I didn't even buy for. I didn't even recognize the scent. I've tried to say something to her about it, but like I said, you know, she pretty much um, throws that question back in my face, tries to make it seem like I'm out messing around or I'm yeah. Out usually, doing if you catch somebody lying doing, in a situation so like that, like let's say like you're you're catching somebody cheating on you. And then, like, you, it's happening in front of you. Like, that person that's getting caught will usually get mad at you. And it's like, how, what are you doing? How dare you? How, how, like, what are you doing here? You you know, it's like they're mad at you. They kind of try to turn on you and make it a thing where it's like, it's your fault. Or try to gaslight you to be like, you're the one that's causing this, you know, which is just a not true. It's secure about her. And I just try to let her know, you know, that's, that's, that's not it. And I think you know that's not it. I mean, if, this guy if seems true, very level-headed, very, you know. I, I don't know very, what I'm doing. Seems very cool. I feel I bad really for don't. what might happen here. I don't know here. where I'm at. I just, you know, hope that God gives me the I don't know if there's good endings on a show named Cheaters, but. Stupid, if you suspect infidelity uh -oh. Oh, in your relationship, go. Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide. Licensed investigators? How the hell do you get licensed for that? Informed. It's got to be some random website they pay all right here we go cherry robeson age 20 there's cherry a sandwich artist dodging her boyfriend a sandwich artist isn't that what they call subway people that work at uh, subway i like seriously right i believe that's what they call request for more quality time together investigation yep there you go Jordan. subway cheaters operatives establish a course of action before setting up surveillance outside the sandwich shop where the suspect works there we go yep After thanks for freezing in and case, zooming cheaters in we know it's her thank you break when they observe suspect cherry robeson leaving her place that's a break we caught a break suspect robeson gleefully hops into an unknown vehicle and leaves the scene Unclear it's a four tars baby and in the background a mercury sable follow behind until the vehicle arrives at a nearby shop oh, damn a large unknown gentleman takes suspect Robeson. Large right unknown hand male. And gallantly leads her toward the entrance of the mall. Oh, they look in a little. Up quite an appetite, browsing the many shops, and decide. How the hell did they beat them? How the hell? First, they're walking in the mall. They must have been sprinting with them damn cameras. <laughs> now they got them right out appetite, front. Browsing the many shops. You know, cameras are right. But it's like these deep breaths. Shops and decide to take a quick lunch break. Making a stop at the mall's jeweler, suspect oh. Robeson's attention shifts to a particular necklace, prompting her to purchase the item for her companion. Damn, she's buying it for After him? a pleasant afternoon at the mall, suspect Robeson decides to take a trip to her companion's residence. Oh, no. Suspect Robeson and company disappear inside for just under an hour. The unknown companion gives suspect they were doing. Robeson a lift back to her workplace and then promptly vacates the premises. Oh, I think we know what went six. down there. Following up on the case's developing leads, cheaters agents continue to stake they out. They just straight up stalk these people and follow them. What the hell? With the low in the afternoon workload. And there he is with the new chain. Once again, departs with the same fellow that she was with days earlier. Who is now identified as Denver Vincent. Cheaters investigators discovered Denver, that Denver Vincent. That sounds like a made-up game. The store with Character Robeson, name. But he's also her boss. Uh oh. After a short drive, the two make a stop. At uh oh. Denver is the boss of Cherry, who is possibly cheating on our poor guy, Derek. An unknown address. Not the boss. Take note as suspect Robeson and companion Benson reemerge from the residence. Oh, and the kid. An unidentified youngster. Several miles away, the threesome makes a stop at a local park. Don't say threesome. Park. To enjoy a lovely afternoon. Damn, it seems like they're like married, basically. What the hell? And her this doesn't even you know, like cheating is like, oh man, you know, autumn at night in the bedroom. They're, they're like out at the park having fun, smiling. Laugh. Like that doesn't seem like they're very worried about getting caught, if you ask me. I mean, with the kids, you know, if you're cheating on somebody you're with the kids in public, you know, I don't know. Finally, call it a day. Yeah, the conspirators I don't know about decide that. to drop off the unknown child. Looks like they're in order married. To gain some privacy. Cheaters agents stay on companion Vincent's trail as he zips to his place of residence, where he confidently invites suspect Robeson inside. A while later, the couple returns to companion. A while. 
I always laugh when people say that. Instead of a while, they go, a while later. They invite Suspect Robeson. Yeah, thanks for this shot, cheaters. Really a lot. We're learning a lot from this. This, I mean, what, you know, what's under, like, 80 HD? I mean, you know, it's not 1080p. It's like 80p. This is like a drawing, for God's sake. So just how can you even see what's going on here? But he, a while. Inside. A while later. A while. There, the couple returns to Companion Vincent's car and heads back to their workplace. Cheaters agents. This seems to be all they do: make sandwiches and smash. Without further incident for the remainder of the day. Investigation day nine. Damn. Cheaters investigators gather for a meeting on the case before returning to the eatery. As usual, such. I love that they call it Subway and Eatery. It makes it sound even better. Robeson and Companion Vincent are off for more adventures once the lunch rush subsides. With the responsibilities to the restaurant, they hit the movies. Delegated suspect Robeson. Oh, it'd be funny if they're like, uh, suspect decided to see Lilo and Stitch in 3D, and then they like just show them like in the, like they're in the theater with them, and like the camera guy has like on a Lilo and Stitch hat. We decided to blend in and watch the entire movie since it ends up that it's Mark's favorite film, and he's just like. Benyon Vincent taking a movie at the local Cineplex. Finishing the epic several the local hours later, Cineplex. Suspect Robeson and her attentive boss visit a nearby fast food joint. Suspect Robeson displays a cold. He's got that Matrix uh, phone call with Derek. Matrix coat on right there. You know what I'm saying? The the Neo coat. All right, let's see what happened here. Derek calls. What's going on There's here? A cold indifference in this recorded phone. I'm worried for Derek. Derek. Okay, so she's lying. Oh. Oh, poor Derek, you know, just wants to hang out with his girl after work. Man. Saying she's with the sister and the kid giving haircuts. for Derek. That is just a wild coat to be wearing in the is it the summertime? That's like a pro wrestler jacket or something. I mean look at the look at the size of that jacket. Case and prepare a it almost looks like a graduation gown. Bruh. Thorough report for Derek. Man, God bless him. Right. After the break, the This is making me crave a meatball marinara from Subway though. Oh, confrontation coming up. They just go right in the subway. Wow. Okay. I like it. I like the drama. This dude's what's this dude do? Does he show up or is he just a guy that like segmentizes everything? I like his little soul pets though. I technically have one. If I just shaved everything, that would be kind of weird. That Cherry has little regard for her commitment. He's got that pepper gray hair Cherry's like Max does Derek from Catfish. The findings. Ready to learn of the discoveries. Oh boy, Derek this is where they tell Derek uh his dignity. They found some stuff. Derek, thanks for being here today. I know this is very short notice, so we appreciate you coming out when you did. Thank you. Well, I know that you're here. Are they today. doing it out front of a cemetery? What the hell are they gonna could have picked a better spot? Because you want some answers. Right. Are you ready to take look, a look at some of in that? the damn road? Yeah. Derek, I want you to stand in the highway for me. Derek, on this day of the investigation. Our detective observed Cherry as she was leaving her job. She gets into a car. The detective did follow this car until it arrived at a mall where Cherry exits with a gentleman. And you recognize that gentleman? Who is that? So boss. Damn, he knows him. Well, you can see their body language. They sit down and have a bite to eat. I'm surprised they don't tell him what he, he ordered uh, three and a half servings of calamari. She ordered a a cocktail. He then ordered three more orders of cheese fries and got a pizza to go. She got the pepperonis off the pizza and took those to go as well. Thank you for that information, Do Joey. Shopping. Went to Kohl's. Find some jewelry that Cherry actually purchased for this gentleman. I mean, the boss, you would think the boss is purchasing the jewelry for the girl, but the, the young girl is purchasing the jewelry for the boss. The mall, they were followed to a residence, which we were able to determine was this gentleman's. 
And after spending quite some time there, he brings her back to work. What, I mean, did she, what, how long is her lunch break? On this day, Poor Derek. her boss again picks her up from work. They drive to a theater where they take in a matinee. To feel Lilo and Stitch. Once they complete that event, they stop. He got the Lilo and Stitch collector's edition popcorn bucket. Those are cool. I'm not going to lie. Anytime I go see a movie, let's say it's like Jurassic Park, and they got those like popcorn buckets, or they'll be like, you know, maybe it'll be shaped like a dinosaur, or if it's like it's, you know, the minions, it'll be like a, a little minion. I'm, it's a gimmicky thing, but I love it, and I'll, they get me every time, and then I, I end up throwing them away, but I think I used to have all the Jurassic Park ones, Jurassic World, you know. I love buying things. As you can see, as there's just so much stuff behind me, I just love buying stuff. I hope there's a community of people watching this video who also just like buying things. You know? It's just exciting. I like collecting stuff. I like categorizing things. I like the art of, like, completing collections. You know? I just love it. Stop and get something to eat before proceeding to his home. I'll tell you what, they do a good job of getting this footage, though. It's, pretty, it's not shake. It's better than catfish footage. It's about 15 years custom, earlier. I'm going to guess this was like 2006. Back to work to either Again, with that big-ass coat. Or, quite possibly, wait for you to pick. He's there to uh, wait for her shift to end or give him her his foot, uh, give her his foot long. <laughs> or six-inch. Her up. She gives him a hug. As thanks Once again, for though, they're just not he's not very discreet about it. I know this I mean, isn't pleasant, Derek. We can provide front you of the with job. an opportunity to confront Cherry face to face. Let's go, Derek. Come on. Quite possibly in the presence of this other gentleman. And get the answers you need. And Derek, I'm going to go in there and beat the hell out of that guy. That would be so cool if that's a part of it. He's like, look, man, this is what happens. We go in there. You confront them. I beat them up. I but I wear boxing gloves. Don't wear it. And he just comes in, just knocks out the the boss. Just right on, right on the cold cuts, right on the turkey, the gabagool. I don't know if they sell gabagool at Subway, but my Subway order, if I go, get a little Philly cheesesteak, a little six inch, a little bit of chipotle sauce on it, some mayo. Pretty good. But uh, Subway doesn't have ketchup, which is weird. I don't know why. Every time I want a little ketchup, they don't have it. So you can make a decision on what direction this relationship is going to turn. It Derek, should turn check with the detective. away, Derek. It should turn for the south. You should leave. Uh, we just finished up with the client briefing. There's a detective that's at the site. Love that they call them detectives. It, like, well, <laughs> some dude's just been sitting there eating like a six inch turkey sub for like four and a half hours with like a box that has a camera in it with a hidden camera. But I'll tell you what, and it's I'm working. working they seem to be right. very happy with we'll each other. Up and head over right now. I'm excited for this part. I, I'm okay. not excited for Derek. Yeah. I feel bad for right. Derek. For the entertainment and drama sake though, I am excited. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look like they're going any place. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and go in. Okay. Let's go ahead and go. I love how dramatic all, all right. the old Walmart sign We're there. Right now. I see the, I Pulling see up the in the two store. giant see, white yep. vans. Definitely not okay. sketchy at all. Imagine you're out front. Like, feel like you're about to get abducted by the like, men in black or something, bro. Bruh. On our way right now. See two giant vans like this I pulling up? The, I see the store. I see you. Yep. Okay. Like the bang bus or whatever. Something. Here, come at this up. This would be terrifying to happen in person. Oh, my God. There's so many people. Oh my god. Hold on. The there are there are literally one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe twelve. So anywhere from ten to twelve people in this shot alone. Imagine that subway that only holds about ten people. <laughs> I mean, geez, out of nowhere, this is gonna turn into like a, a legit circus, and I'm I'm excited for it. And if anybody gets knocked out, punched in the teeth, the good thing is there is a dentist right next door. Fix it right up for you, you know.
gotten bonding done before to my teeth. It has chipped three different times, so that's great. But it is it is a thing that works. You can do it. It's obviously, we're in a public place, so. My goodness. The poor person that's eating in there. Oh, no. Oh, this, <laughs> this is so Oh, no. Oh, he's like, oh, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, hell no. Excuse me, Cherry. <laughs> oh, Cherry. Cherry's having a rude awakening at the job, man. That's crazy to do it at the job while you're on the clock. Yes. Oh, I'm man, this right. is oh, real. Cheers. That is not a fake reaction. There's so many people. Who is that guy? What's he doing? Back there. What's up, dude? Uh-oh. Come holler at me, man. We understand that. Come holler at me, man. Are you Denver? It's not going to get out of hand. There are, there's a whole crew of people there. Let's see what they're that's the chain you bought him with my money the other day? Hey, y'all need to get out of my it. store, man. I'm going I to call the police. I saw it. You and Fat Boy right here. I saw it. Oh, man. He's hitting with the Fat Boy. <laughs> Although, you know what? He, he just got cheated on. I hope she get a bonus. Yeah, she's getting a yearly bonus. Okay. Um, she... See, then that's... Not... He said, I hope she get a bonus. He said, yeah, she's got a yearly bonus. You know what? That's not cool, man. <laughs> yes, I need to leave okay. my store. Okay. All right. Joey getting Why bullied. Wait, do, do you, know me, she was, you knew that she was in a relationship with him. Me, dude. Oh, that's a very big guy on the left there. You got my money around your neck, chump. You're not taking care of her, right? You got my money around your neck. He said he takes care of her, but he says, Kerr, because it's a South thing. Take care of her. Tell, tell your boss to come outside. Tell him to come outside. You I think know Derek's going to bust his ass. Yeah, that's my house. Why uh -oh. are you taking her to your house? Damn, this is real. It's nice because a lot of these shows we've watched are pretty staged sometimes. This one is straight up real. Like, he is just in a subway with this dude, and that guy's like, oh, shit. You got footage of my house and my cars. Oh, 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 oh. The conclusion. You better show this conclusion. If they jump to this without showing this possible fight, because now I'm locked in. Conclusion. If I'm Derek, I'm swinging, so let's go. Well, that dude's pretty big, but the other the, the security guard's even bigger. It's a whole lot to see. Won't you go look? That's how you do me, huh? I pour in all my time. I pour in all my time. That's what I get, huh? With you, boss. You know what? All things considered, Derek handling it well. Fat boy can have it. You a fat boy can have it. His third fat boy. Fat That's boy. Fourth. Good thing you work that subway. Fat boy. Six. What you want to do? Uh oh. Huh? No, please. What you want to do? I hope y'all. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all shift. Man, get the camera out my face, dude. I think at that what? point the cameras ain't. I mean, if there's nine different people with cameras, I think telling them to get the cameras out ain't gonna work. I would. You just go back inside. What do you? Why? Why you don't want the camera on? You're in the spotlight. Why don't you show him that nice chain? Don't you show him the chain? Yeah, why don't you show him the chain? Man? He's showing the chain. I'll smash it off your neck, dude. I'll smash it off your neck, boy. There's a good chance that chain turned his neck green. Oh, here he, here he comes. Denver. Watch out. Okay. That security guard is like the size of a planet, though. Not much you can... He's getting in the way of them easily. What's up, homie? Huh? Huh? Ain't nothing little, dog. Ain't nothing little but the appearance, homie. Like I said, it was just for fun. It was our fun. Just for fun? <laughs> I forgot about Cherry. Hey, why'd you do that? It was just for fun. Now, who was for fun? Because I'm confused now. Just was the manager for fun or was Derek for fun? The manager. <laughs> He's out of breath. Oh, the cops are here. That's it. It ain't your choice no more. It's mine. Mine to walk away. There you go, Derek. Get out of there, man. Okay, well, we got police coming all over the place. We got a port of a fire day. Man, there are... There, the whole neighborhood is there. The whole town is at this subway at this point. There's people with purses pulling up. Okay, you can come over here talking. Look at this, man. This What's just did a lot of destruction. What's going on? Oh, man, uh, just having a little trouble, man, with my with girl, you? but... It was with my girl, but it's cool. Uh, okay, that's good enough. Okay. Uh, What's the deal? Who's the point? I feel bad for Derek. Oh, not the not the child right there. Whose kid is that? <laughs> Little Tommy right there. Come on, man. Little Tommy. 
Like, what the hell's going on over here? And then there's the family to the right. You got Susan, Helen, Katie, and Ashley right there. And they're all being nosy at the door, but now they're probably like, oh shit, they're coming this way. We better get the hell out of the way. You gotta walk in. Okay, I've got five officers running code here. Get somebody killed for this ride. Alright. 430. Yeah, no, this stuff can get dangerous, man. This is how people get stabbed or shot. That's no joke. It's gonna be a TV show being filmed. Tell officers reduce code. I love the cop. There's gonna be a. It's actually a TV show being filmed right now. Go ahead and get rid of all these cops. I ain't doing shit. This motherfucker over here, Joey. Sa what's that? What's like a Joey Greco? And then the people in between the cops that obviously want to get on camera right now desperately. Code. Uh, they are waving. Yep, there they go. They got on. Good for them. You know, I'm gonna give them camera time myself. How about this? There you go. Congrats to you two. Right under the tire and lube sign. Good for you guys. You're about to get hit by a car. Here goes Cherry. All Cherry said was she was just having fun. Didn't okay. seem very you sympathetic or anything. You can go ahead and get in the van. Why don't you get in the van? And I just want. Do you think that there might be an opportunity for the two of you to sit down and have a conversation in more detail? With, they should speak again, but I don't think they should be dating again. That there might be a this guy seems way too nice. Honestly, right now, I can't even say, you know, honestly, right now, the way I feel. The answer to that question is, is no. I'm feeling for my man, Derek. I mean, who knows what might happen in a couple of days, but right now, I don't see it happening. I don't blame him, to be honest. After the confrontation, Derek suffers a state of disbelief. Stay tuned as cheaters God, continue to say he suffered a heart attack for the coming months. But first, Cheaters oh. revisits the Laughlin case. The Laughlin case? Cindy Murphy <laughs> speaks of the pain that she caused her loving boyfriend, Michael Laughlin. What's going on here? There's only... Cynthia Murphy. There's only three minutes left, or I'm going to watch whatever this is. Cynthia What's up with Cynthia Murphy? That she unleashed upon her live-in boyfriend, Michael. She's got two different haircuts going on, too. I was angry with her. Kind of went to the place and she was like, listen, on the top, give me something. And on the bottom, give me something completely different. Myself. I was angry at Michael. Give me the Billy Ray on top and the Miley really on the bottom. Job, but if it weren't for y'all, I wouldn't be where I am today. So I don't know anything about uh, Cynthia Murphy. I'm just, just judging her. I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't be doing that. But really, I was angry at myself for having him to go to that extreme to where he had to call cheaters to follow me. What? What? Oh, no. Oh, no. See, I don't even know what's going on, but... <laughs> Oh, man, not Todd, bro. Not Todd on the floor butt naked, man. Oh, no. Oh, Todd, bro. I mean, what a way to get busted on the towels, man. Oh, man. When the hell was this shot? Like, 1995? What's going on? This looks like a... This, 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 that living room is straight out of the early 90s. That TV looks like it's from the 60s. Hang on. I mean, getting your ass beat naked would be really weird. He's got one sock on. Oh, no. There's, there's Cynthia Murphy. I need more tea about Cynthia now. This is about to end soon. Oh, oh, my God. Did she just flash them? What the? Cynthia. I'm a player. Michael, he's a, uh, he's a very honest person. She called herself a player. Billy's a good person. He's a lot of fun. Me, I know I can be a good person, but that day I wasn't a good person. Well, there you go, she's honest. And what I learned from all this is to be honest. Keep, hey, what I learned? Lock the doors. Who is this dude? He's just a plumber. He's just a plumber? He's just the plumber. He was just fixing the couch. And my body, he was fixing it. How often do you need plumbing, he says. How often do you need plumbing? He comes here every three days. Uh, what's going on with the pipe system? Is it something that could be affecting your health? You know, you clogging the toilets? Frequently. 
Go ahead, dude. No, also, yeah. not while not him no, talking to her like this while she's on the ground still it's getting dressed. Point. He's asking her how much, how long does the, how many times does the plumber come? She's putting on her underwear on the floor of her house. Go ahead, dude. No, he, he, no, no, he hasn't. He still has no clothes. He's no, running he away. The dog is running. He's here to. She did not just say he's here to fix the sink. Bruh. <laughs> oh hell no. Oh, he's out. I'm running my car. I'm just getting the. I'm just getting a wrench. You know, I could say he was gonna go get his pipe, but it seemed like he already laid the pipe. You know what I'm saying? I like the following camera thing though. Oh, the dog is. Oh. Damn, Dale just broke the TV. Not the tube. Not the tube, I probably would not still the tube be TV. I'd still be in the same. You just said she'd still you know, be cheating. Lying every day. If it wasn't for cheaters, damn. Timing myself to make it home for his phone calls to tell me what he wants for dinner. Um, so, I guess. Uh, she almost just seems upset she got caught. Once again, don't know too much of his backstory, but she's just like, yeah, well, it sucks. I got caught. Cheaters, you know. You guys, uh,. He got me. You know, don't want to do that again. You know, so. Sucks, but, you know, still love, you know, still love the other guy, you know. But. I have good things to say about cheaters. I didn't at first because I was very angry. <laughs> I have good things to say about cheaters. But if it wasn't for cheaters. Cheaters I saved my life. Exactly Thank you, cheaters. And, and didn't expect that. With myself. I want to find out what the fuck. Did I, what's up with Derek? Did he say no? I. Give me an update. Enough, no, no, no more Cincy. There, there we go. Okay. Happy to see Derek. I would love to. I would love Derek to say, "Uh, uh, moving on. Not worth it." Admits that Ms. Robeson's unfaithful behavior has cleared his conscience, making it easier to discontinue their relationship. Let's go. Good. More upset with himself than Ms. Robeson, Derek confesses to turning away from his true feelings. Having learned his lesson, Derek looks forward. That's a good guy. He still blamed himself. Not a good, you know, it's like, that's, that's a shame that he had to do that. And he did that. But like, he's still, even after all that is like, I still made, you know, enjoying that's a good guy right there. Life has to offer. There we go, Derek. As for her involvement, Cherry Robeson. See that, that, that shot Derek right there. Pretending to be a loyal boy. Slow mo look. Oh, shit. As for her involvement, Cherry Robeson says Derek is only pretending to be a loyal boyfriend. Cat. Robeson reports that Derek, Derek is pretending to be a loyal boyfriend, says the person who is cheating on him while basically working. While he was at work. Nah, yeah, come on. You can't say that. You can't say that. Why don't people just break up? I feel like it's insane. Like you put yourself through this war, this legit war. That's why I've been single for four plus years now. I've dated off and on recently in the last couple of years, but like it's so stressful <laughs> and I don't do well with stress and anxiety. Some people handle it. Well, I don't, you know, I, I get hot the whole day. You know, I get weak. I get shaky. You know, if the person I'm talking to is, is upset at me or something happened, oh, I can't do stuff. You know, it doesn't work well with me. So that's why I choose not to put someone else through that and myself through that. If it's not meant to be right, you don't have to just be with the person that you're with just because you're with them. You can break up if it's not working out. Under the pretext of comforting a depressed friend or simply working with I do want some of them Subway Although cookies, though. proof, Ms. Robeson alleges Derek cheated first, and the cheaters' investigators should have been following him in... Oh, stop it. He cheated first. They have no proof. It's just like, yeah, oh, it's ridiculous. It's like a child thing. Denver Vinson refuses to discuss any particulars of the case, but does express his fondness for Ms. Robeson. When questioned... He didn't even apologize. Just expressed his fondness. I thought he was going to say, did, did, did want to apologize to Derek. No, he's like, nah, man, she's hot as hell, man. I'll do it again. About his future with Ms. Robeson, Mr. Vinson explained his newfound belief in keeping romantic relationships out of the workplace. Wow, good. Look at that. We actually got a good, good for you, Denver. Learning that you should not be sleeping with the employees you manage. Good job there. A happy ending. Not really. Well, hey, look, Derek is single, living his best life. Who the hell knows what's going on with Cherry? And at least Denver. You know, hopefully, I mean, if you're, if you're cheating, why they were going to the park. 
Very bizarre stuff. All right, that was cheaters. Did you guys? Is this good? Do you like that? You know, I don't know. You might have hated it. That was. I mean, I was entertained by it. I would like to know more about uh, Cynthia Murphy. Um, well, if you want more, just comment that you'd like another one, and I'll make another one. If not, or if there's not that many comments, well, we'll see. Uh, maybe 400 likes too. We hit 400 likes. I'll do a part two without question right that's just like i see that and i'm like okay um so yeah like if you're still here let's get to 400 comment if you'd like to see more or comment some things about the video um and make sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel at any point throughout this video if you're entertained a subscription would mean a lot to me it is free it is quick and uh it is something that i appreciate so if you could do that it would mean a lot thank you guys for watching I think I might do um, a bot story, a thousand ways to die next, whatever was second on that list. I'd actually, we'll see. I'll, I'll see what's on there. All, th all three others were good. A thousand ways to die, botched, or uh, America's tech next top model shows I've never seen before. I know nothing about, uh, and that's what usually does the best with me when I have no clue what the hell's going on. You guys seem to like when I go into it blind, just completely vulnerable, because <laughs> uh, I guess it's. Makes for good TV. There's no edits in any of this stuff. I hope you guys have realized at this point that there are no edits. If you maybe have thought that while watching, I don't edit any of this. It's been all one take. Every one of these videos is one take. So, hope you can appreciate that. All right, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, two more videos are going to be out in the next seven days after this one. Um, as we uh, race to 11,000, we're about 150 away. So, once again, if you subscribe, you could be one of those people that gets us to a nice little milestone of 11,000 subscribers, which I would appreciate. So thank you again. Pick up some merch. If you haven't, still a couple beans available. Shopaverage.com. Check it out. At least just look at it. Go to the website if you haven't yet. If you're one of those new people, check it out. Let me know what you think. Pick up something if something's available. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Peace.